Coverage out of the city of Fountain, a new water treatment plant that removes cancer causing toxic chemicals from the drinking water is now open. Caradio News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is live in downtown Fountain. That's where the new treatment plant is. Scott? Well, it certainly isn't residents' fault that their water was contaminated by chemicals in firefighting foam formerly used for training at Peterson Space Force Base. And some still blame the water contamination for causing cancer and other illnesses. But now officials hope to end the skepticism once and for all. Enjoy clean, safe fountain water. A show of confidence by Fountain City leaders, one that they hope spills over on citizens who have coped with contaminated drinking water since 2015. Without a doubt, our water is clean and safe to drink, to bathe it, to let your dogs drink it. Our water is safe and clean. Even a city councilwoman whose health may have suffered from drinking contaminated water feels good about what's coming out of the tap. Since we've cleared the water, I don't have any problems with my, my hair. I don't have any problems with my, my skin. But some residents remain skeptical and continue to rely on bottled water for drinking and cooking. I just found out about it being filtered better now, so maybe in a couple weeks I'll try it and see, but until then I still just gotta come get water. Another resident says that she has drank the tap water and will keep doing it, but she still wonders how safe it is. I just feel like if they might not be able to tell us if it wasn't safe because what, what's our alternative, you know? And the federal government is covering the cost of these new water treatment systems, not only here in Fountain, but also in neighboring Security Wide Field, which you've all had experiences with contaminated drinking water. We are live in Fountain tonight. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.